real. Now you you um you just mentioned Lil J. I had seen uh um Butter. I think I think that was no jumper where Butter was describing from his point of view a, a scenario where you came to Queen D crib and you had your guys, he had a big, he woke up in his drawers or whatever. Um and and, and I guess like you know, he gave that story. I I seen you talk about it, but I want to get your perspective on, you know, walk us through that day, like how you end up over there. You know what I mean? What happened from your point of view? That was my crib. I lived with the bitch. So it was, I think, earlier, whatever. The bitch played. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, I see a pop. Oh, bitch, you. You got Lil J chain on. So I called. Cause the bitch had ran off. She been gone for some days. But the initial story, this what happened. So this how niggas be snakes, man. So me and the bitch had fell out, whatever. I think she supposed to have been pregnant or something at the time. She ended up in the hospital. But I was a bogus, I was bogus too though. Um, so while she at the we at the hospital, I leave her at the hospital and go slide to go hit a little bitch. Lil J. Whitney. So when we split, he done hit the bitch or whatever and told the bitch that I done went and fucked another bitch or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So Damn. that's how he got in the dough with the bitch. Now she on some back door shit because he done told her. Oh, she in the hospital crying. Oh, I'm pregnant, whatever. And um so she, her mama lived up north in the Marshall Field buildings where uh, Polo G from. Um, she never come back to our crib. When she get out the hospital, she go to her mama house. That's the type of shit she used to do, get mad, hop on the green line, run to her mama house, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause we stayed on, four, on 48th and Calgary Match. So she just hop on the train and run to her mama house when we get a tour. So um, that happened, whatever rule, fast forward. I guess that's how all the back door shit started happening. So she don't come home. I'm, damn, bitch, where you at? You can't get in there. If you know the Marshall Field, but you can't get in that project gang unless you got a code, put your hand in there. You can't get in the building. So you, if a motherfucker in there, you ain't getting in there. Um, I see the shit. So I call. She don't answer. I call him. Damn, what you on, nigga? You back door on my bitch? He said some slick shit on the phone. All right. Don't worry about it. niggas up, nigga. When I see you, nigga, woo -woo -woo. so the whole time I'm out in the streets. I, I don't go back to the crib. I think I stayed in the hundreds with folks now, but I'm hot. So folks and them kind of real calm me down already. So I think that's probably why I ain't go home. Folks and them like, oh, you gonna go kill somebody? And if I probably would have went in right then and I probably would have went in that bitch and spanked, got right to it and got groovy because you know you not you not thinking. At that yeah, moment, it's I'm not crazy. Hot. I know you disrespect my homie, my bitch. Woo -woo -woo -woo. So we go, we go in the daytime. I go like seven, eight deep. You know, his story is a fucking lie. He talking about he and his draws, bro. I'm with Gooch, Gooch, me, Gooch taller than me. Nigga, I'm in there with Lone Little, Little Mo. I'm in there with killers at the end of the day, man. Y'all in there three deep. Rest in peace, blood. Blood wasn't on shit. Butter, you wasn't on shit. Lil J was the only nigga with a gun on skis, nigga. I come through the door. He did. He talking about he hopped. I got the key to the house. I come right through the door. I could have walked. Bang, bang, bang. I could have I could have got wild instantly, man. Eh? You not on shit. Soon I come through the door, the bitch running the bathroom. Lock herself in. She's scared to death. Lil J sleep. My mom, I kicked the bed. Fuck, get your bitch ass up. That's what we on. What's up? On phone, he grab his move. I already got move out. Move in hand. All this shit, brother, talking about, I got pipe in hand, man. On skis, what you on? Da, 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 da. On phone up. I ain't even, I ain't, I, I ain't, I'm thinking about going to the bathroom. Bitch, open the door, bitch. Faggot ass bitch. Da, 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 da. I'm talking to this bitch. A nigga gonna be a nigga. You faggot ass bitch, though, bitch. You done lived, slept with me for years. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to see what's going on. Um, Folks, them go in the front, blood sleep on the, on the, on the couch. Folks, them kicking the couch. Get up, nigga. Woo -woo -woo. All this shit. Butter talking about he walking through the crowds and all that. Folks, walking through a crowd of seven, eight niggas and y'all three deep and you play, you done upped on us. And all he told y'all, all of us had guns. All of us had guns. Did he not say that? Yeah, I think he yeah. So you telling me you're going to up on seven niggas 
with all guns. And even if you up at one nigga, you got four, five other guns at your head. Make it make sense, bro. Right. The nigga stuck butter is delusional. He just be on his butter say anything to go viral. More of the story. He tried to play with about the chains. I didn't even come. I come in there, folks, you know, get your clothes, folks. Fuck this bitch, folks. Get your shit, folks. We gone. Fuck this bitch. So I grab all my shit, pack my shit, folks. I thought you could have this bum ass bitch. Y'all can stay together. Woo -woo -woo. You know what I'm saying? Um, the chain. I think her niece had a chain on or something. Woo -woo -woo. So I bitch get my shit. So I think I took the chain from the from the niece. But I'm like, what my other chain? At? Butter done tucked the chain. Butter tried to act like he he had the chain on and da -da -da. he never had the chain on. So we leaving out the door and all the shit. Woo -woo -woo. I'm already on my way out the door. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm not gonna make it uh with my other chain and make a big ass problem over this fake ass chain anyway, fake ass jewelry that this bitch bought and some fake ass shit wasn't even real. We ain't even had no money for real. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even real. So then I got up out of there. You get okay, you had the chain, but you never had a chain on or took a chain off my neck or, or nothing like that. So it was nothing like that, G. We ended up getting up out of there. But they call me so fucked up that same day. Blood get killed. They go to jail for all them years. Oh, damn. That was the same that day. That was the crazy. same exact fucking day. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. It was mysterious ways. I didn't even have to do nothing. I ain't had to do nothing. Damn. The homie got spanked, and y'all went to jail for seven years, five years, because you niggas is snakes, gang. At the end of the day, bro. If you hey, listen, if them niggas never did that game, them niggas probably would have never caught that case because they would have never been with that bitch. Damn. Lil J won't be going through the shit he going through now. Nah, these niggas wanna have none of that shit would have happened. Yeah. But I'm glad it happened because in reality, people don't even know this this story is how I started vlogging. When they Lil J came home and told the story and rah, 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 they had took my Instagram. I responded on YouTube, and I saw the numbers that it did on YouTube, and I've been doing this shit ever since. So, yeah, that, that's really some mysterious ways type shit. Thank that's you, niggas, crazy. anyway, man. So at the end of the day, man, you know, it all, it all, you know, everything happened for a reason. So, yeah, mm. that's deep right there. Okay, so with with butter, um. Did I seen you talking to him on on DJU? Um, yeah, y'all. I was. I had a phone call or whatever. Like, who who's your relationship closer with, Lil J or, or Butter? Lil J, Butter, okay. Lil J, Butter was. Butter was a Lil J flunky man. He was a all that shit. Butter tried to act like he a big dog and all that. Yeah, you might be big dog or whatever to to these people now or whatever. G, you was not on skis. I ain't lying. This like Lil J used to hang with butter, drop butter off, and go pick his baby mama up and fuck her. Like he was already back doing doing shit like that. So butter ass was a goofy sitting around while he doing it. He back no fucking my bitch. He was fucking Lil J was fucking everybody. He fucking that's why he fucking them boys. He was fucking everybody. He wanna have some sex. But damn. So so. Lil J was your homie. Could you see y'all, despite his allegations or whatever? Could you could you see yourself like I, you know, being cool with him if he come on when he come on, rather? Uh, I love Lil J, man. I got love for listen, man. I'm not mad at no nigga. Your sex preferences or whatever. I was just mad that I saw that video, nigga sitting on your lap and you kissing him and. Shit like that, and that you lying about it. I'm a gangster gang. Yeah, he said it wasn't him. I, huh? I said, yeah, he said it wasn't him. Oh, uh, I'm a gangster. I've been on the yard with niggas that got life that would kill you, that do all the gangster shit, and he gonna go fuck his punk on the yard. You think I'm like, no, nah, fuck him. What up, fool? He yellow. What up, boy? That's his business. Long as he he a gangster with me at the end of the day. Who got life? Who the fuck am I to judge this nigga? He, mm -hmm. That's him. He not going home. He ain't going to never get no pussy no more anyway. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I done had conversations with Lil J, man. And, um, I think Lil J thought it was over with for himself. What you mean? Uh -huh. I thought Lil, I think Lil J thought that he was going to be, he was going to be gone for a long time. You know what I'm saying? 
Oh, I see. I, Lil J just. Lil J was just ready to give up on everything. Life. He just felt like, you know, Lil J, I heard he, he tried to kill himself and uh, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I heard he he just he just gave up. Um, but who 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 am I to judge him for what he do? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I judge him off how he treat you know, he did he did some foul shit before he went in. So that that always be something in my head that I could never trust you as a you would never be able I would never bring you around my my family, my kids, my my woman, and shit like that. Like, it would never like we can. I, I ain't got a problem. I, you know, we can link up and do our thing or whatever, musically, business or whatever. Yeah, I'm willing to that. But father's like anything being back the way it was. It ain't just Lil J. It's just me as a grown man. It would never know. It would never be ever. It's called growth. It would never be the same with a lot of people. We was young. When I was a child, I thought like a child. Now I'm a man, I think like a man. So certain shit just won't it won't be happening. Certain niggas still to this day don't know where I live at. You know what I'm saying? There's certain niggas that probably come to my career. Ruga. Certain niggas that come that that, you know, that mm -hmm. I go his family, my family, his girl, like, you know, my kids, certain niggas, like genuine niggas, like Ruga, genuine nigga. Like I is no snake, I don't see no snaking folks or nothing like that. So them type of niggas that you could bring around, bro. Um, two thirsty niggas that sexually and you know, or a nigga that just you you played me, gang. You played me, so I will always. That's anybody in life. You played me, gang. I'm gonna always look at you like that. I'm yeah. always, I'm gonna always remember it. It's gonna always, it's gonna, it ain't gonna be in the back. It's gonna be right here. So every time I look at you, I'm seeing that shit. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's, but it's all love, man. I ain't no, I hate Lil J. And, oh, if I saw the ops of somebody doing something to Lil J, I'm going to slide with him. I'm going to them. I'm going to still ride with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But just certain things that won't, won't happen. It's to a yeah. certain extent.